So in this problem, let's now solve algebraically the act the the Arrhenius equation. So okay, the rate constant of a reaction is four point seven times ten to the negative three liters per mole second at twenty five degrees Celsius, and the activation energy is thirty three point six kilojoules per mole. What is K at seventy five degrees Celsius? So, we are given with two temperatures, so we know that this is Arrhenius equation, given two different equa temperatures, and also we are given with the rate one, we are first rate, rate constant, and here we are going to find the rate constant at 75 degrees celsius so there are two rate constants here okay so now we can use the arrhenius equation which is ln k2 over k1 is equal to negative ea over r times 1 over t2 minus 1 over t1 okay so we have we have this formula and now let's plug in the values that are given so we have ln 4.7 okay so here we are going to find the value of k K2, that is K2, K2 at 75 degrees Celsius. So, okay, now let's manipulate our formula in order to get the K2 on the left side. So, we have one property of Ln is when we have this division, a fraction or fraction, we have... That is equal to ln k2 minus ln k1. Okay. And that is equal to ea, negative ea over r, 1 over t2 minus 1 over t1. So we have that one. Okay, now let's bring the ln k k1 to the other side so we will have ln k2 is equal to negative ea over r 1 over t2 minus 1 over t1 plus ln k1 so let's plug in those values now we have 33.6 kilojoules per mole and then, okay, our R, R is equal to 8.314, or the gas constant, uh, joules per mole Kelvin. And we have here the energy of activation, which is kilojoules. Now, we can we can convert kilojoules into joules so so that it can be consistent with our r and it can be easily cancelled if an if ever okay so we have 33.6 now let's convert 33.6 kilojoules okay ea is equal to 33.6 kilojoules per mole now multiply that to one that in every one kilojoules we have one thousand joules. So EA is thirty three thousand six hundred joules per mole. Okay, so we are good. We have thirty-three thousand six hundred joules per mole. Okay, that is over to, wait, eight 
we have negative here. 8.314 joules per mole Kelvin. Okay, so cancel that one. Cancel times 1 over T2. Okay, the T2 here is 75 degrees Celsius. It's in degrees Celsius. Now, in our gas constant or the energy constant, which is R, we have the unit of temperature here is in Kelvin. So, to be consistent, we have to convert degrees Celsius to Kelvin. And how would we do that? We, ha we will have 75... Okay, let's write it here. T2 is equal to 75 plus 273.15. That is 273.15 plus 275. That is 348.15 Kelvin. And then we have T1. So we have T1 which is 25 degrees Celsius, let's convert that to plus, okay, so that is equal to, okay, this is equal to 298.15 Kelvin, big K, it's big K, so we will plug in those values, and then, Okay, 1 over 348.15 plus minus, okay, that is minus, minus 1 over 298.15, then we plus ln k1. That is ln of 4.7 times 10 to the negative 3 liters per mole seconds. Okay, so let's calculate the values. Then we're good.